I gotta make this video on the move. So I'm gonna try to make it short as possible. I don't know who made this uh, this picture, but I just saw it in this Facebook group. And he asked, would that, would this guy have gotten as much attention with his picture have gone viral, his mugshot have gone viral, had he been dark skinned? And of course, most people said no. And I want to say to the black man is why, why are you surprised about this? I mean, black women have made it very clear uh, over a long period of time, the vast majority of black women, that they admire and they love blue eyes and light skin. That they love, uh, you know, attributes on black people that are common among white people. Blue eyes, black women themselves, the vast majority of them, straighten their hair like white people. And they do it their whole life. You know, or they'll spend, you know, 95% of their life straightening their hair, you know, 5% of their life they have a natural hairstyle. Now, those natural those times where they have natural hairstyle, it's brief. You know, it don't last long. Like I said, you, you hardly ever see them in those hairstyles anyway. So they love white genetics. <laughs> I mean, they, they, they let you know this on a daily basis. Every day that you see them, I know y'all go to work, y'all see them at work and everything. You see them everywhere, they're in your family. They in your face letting you know that they love white genetics. So why is this, you know, why does it surprise you? How did, why, how did this go viral anyway? A mug shot. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. The last thing to go through my mind when I see a mug shot is, you know, trying to rate the person's looks. I mean, women are so obsessed with looks. It looks is everything to black women. I mean, everything. The vast majority of them. Everything is about looks. And they, they almost worship looks. Okay? And it's, it's, I can't really wrap my head around it. I don't waste time trying to understand it because I don't think it'll benefit me in any way to understand it. I just chalk it up as something twisted in their own mind. But in any case, this should not surprise you. This is no surprise. The vast majority of black women love white genetics. They love it. Look at how many of them make websites for themselves and white men. Don't compare no way to uh, how many websites black men have made for black men and white women. Have they even made any? I don't even know of any. I know there's quite a few made by black women for black women and white men. Not only websites, but Facebook uh, pages, a whole, whole lot of them. They get, they get way more uh, likes than the black male, white female groups by far and it's way more of them so they love they love they love white they love mulattoes they love you know mixed babies almost all of them has fantasized about having a biracial child understand this that's why they 95 percent of them straighten their hair i'm telling you all of them have done that they fantasize about being white they're expressing it you know they're addicted you know, to, to white genetics, to covering themselves in white genetics. I should tell you a whole lot. I know this is their culture and you're so used to seeing seeing them do this that you don't question it, you don't examine it. But that's what they're doing. They're obsessed. They're obsessed with white people. <laughs> that's why that's why I don't you know, in public I don't approach black women. If I ain't seen their a profile on their on a website, you know, First, I got to see where your mind is first. I don't care what a black female look like in person. I do not approach black women in person ever. Because the madness is just, it's viral. And it's, it's a culture. You know, so that's my take on that. Stop tripping. You know, we know. We grew up with these women. We've been seeing them. Let's take a good look at what we've been seeing. Okay. These black women have made it a culture to wear blue contacts. That should tell you a lot. It's, it does not surprise any black person to see a black woman with blue contacts. But it'll shock the hell out of them 
to see a, a man as dark as this man with blue contacts they would question that immediately anything we do if we was to get like a short hairstyle and perm it you know start doing that and, and style it exactly how white men style their hair you better believe black women would question that and they would question whether we gay or not and they would think something was wrong with us in our in our head because see in their mind white genetics is feminine you see they want to live through white women you know they want to live vicariously through white women's identity and through via their genetics okay they're addicted to to those to white people <laughs> really to all non-black people but primarily to white people and white genetics maybe not white people per se but they are addicted to white genetics absolutely white people and everybody know it everybody see it everybody got eyes and everybody scratched their head what the hell is wrong with these people you know black men you know that's one of the reasons black men don't get that much respect you know because we you know we let our women walk around and just degrade our our racial genetics like that and anytime you know a guy like this show up with white genetics they put him on a pedestal they exalt him you know like i said before these women are functioning as your enemies your bitter enemies i don't give a fuck you know this is too harsh for most of you motherfucking uh black dudes to accept you know y'all don't even want to look at it because y'all just don't even want to believe it but it's the actual truth they function as your enemies they are at war against blackness and they let you know that on a daily basis i'm just doing my part to 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 wake you up to that fact stay tuned